Hey guys, so what pattern are we going to paint today? Well, you guys made the choice. A couple weeks ago, I did a short video talking about community tabs and an opportunity here where we can interact with each other and I can ask you questions, you can ask me questions, and, and we can talk about stuff. And I asked what pattern you would like to see me paint. I had a couple suggestions for Yellow Perch. Now I knew I'd painted a fire tiger, more of a green perch they call it, but Figured I hadn't done the yellow perch, so for today, we'll go with what you wanted. We're going to do a yellow perch, and we'll do it on this deep dive and crankbait. Stick around. All right, here we go. We've got our basic base coat of white on first. Save a little time putting that. Now, yellow perch, and I looked at the transparent yellow and I thought, man, that's just a little bit too yellow for me. So that maybe we can darken that up just a little. And I had no idea what I was going to try, but I thought, let's try some Createx Pearlized Copper. Get a pearlized color out of this. And maybe we can darken that yellow up a little. That's two drops. Let's see what that does. Let me wipe that off a little. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. All right, we're going to put a little more in here on that, though. A little more yellow. We need a little more paint than that. Put about two drops of yellow back in it. Let's see what we got there now. Kind of looking a little more like mustard now. Copper was a little bit thicker, so we're just going to add a tiny tad, just a little squirt of water. Thin that down just a little bit. There, I kind of like that. That gives a nice light yellow color, but it's not too bright. That's what I think I'm looking for. At the last drop, huh? All right. Just gonna give it good yellow coat for the whole thing. There we go. And that's a little bit. Well, it's going to be hard to see in the camera, but that is a little bit, not nearly as bright as what we had. But you know what? It might be a little brighter than I'd like. We can solve that. First, we're going to put a dry on it. Now, this is the time when you're just messing around with colors like this. This is the time you got to make your decisions. Now, when I got that all mixed together, and I'm not sure if that's going to show up very well, the deal. I like the color there, but when I put it on the white of the lure it's not nearly the same color it lightened up a lot so we're going to come back i got to mix up a little more we're going to come back and mix up just a little more paint and we're going to put another coat on to see if we can darken that up just a little bit you know like i said when it was in the cup here it looked just right but once you put it on that white base that you put on it changes the color sometimes. In this case, it lightened it up a little more than I'd like. This is a little darker. But now we'll be a little careful. We won't, we're gonna put a coat over the top. We don't want to go too dark though. So we'll just kinda be a little light about it here. All right. Yeah, that's a little darker. I can compare it now. Again, not sure how much that's going to show up the camera. But I can definitely see it's darker here. All right, we're going to call that good. That darkened it up a little. Still a little lighter than what's in the cup. But we've definitely darkened it up 
over a bright yellow. So now let me put a dry on that and put some heat on it. We'll move on. When you guys were first mentioning yellow perch, I have done the fire tiger and let's see, I got one. I've done a fire tiger like this before in a couple of those, but here the green is a lot brighter, the black is, or the stripes are black, but I noticed the yellow perch, that's not necessarily the way it is. At first I kind of thought it would be brown, a little more of a brown for the top of that, but the more I looked at some of the other patterns, it had a little green to it, but it wasn't a bright green. So here's what we're going to try. I've got some... Uh, English Ivy Green here by Walmart. And this is kind of a little darker. Now this is going to take some water because uh, this stuff wasn't designed for guns. So uh, it's pretty thick. Alright. Now, let me move this over to the helping hands and we'll be right back. In the past when I've done the bluegill patterns or excuse me even the fire tiger patterns I've showed you how I've used masking tape to make my stripes and get those to form but this time we're going to do a little differently a lot of people use a comb to be honest I've never used a comb before but we're going to try it for this one and see what we come up with this one's got some odd times to it but we'll see what happens here basically we're just going to hold that right up there and we're just going to shoot right across like that. And we're going to come back later and fill up. So don't worry about that on the top. Going to come back again. I'm kind of shooting down. We're going to take care of the other stuff. That'll give us our stripes. We got our light colored in. Now, got our stripes this way. We're going to come right down the top here. I'm going to darken this up some. Alright. Now, I'm going to dry that and i got another step I want to try. For our next step here, I've mixed up a little Back in the cup with some water, Walmart. I'm using a burnt umber, which is, I guess, brown for us guys that aren't real fancy. But And what we're going to do is real lightly come back across the top where I did the green. Now we're going to come back with a little brown so we get a little bit of an accent stripe with that. And then we're going to come up here in the face. Hang on just a second. We're going to dial back the pressure. Get that pressure dial back. I've been running about 40 pounds. All right, now I'm docked about 15 pounds. Now we're going to come up here on the face around the eyes, and we're just going to darken up just a little around the face. Don't want to go too far back. Well, we splattered some, but you know I got lucky. It splattered. Got to get a... I uh, got one right here. So you got a splatter right in the eyeball. Just a Q-tip. It's dry. You pick it right off. All right. Let's put it over here in the paper towel first. Get rid of the spots. Now let's come back. There we go. We're getting just enough splatter from that brown. Oops, drop some off. Splatter from the brown is going back a little bit. I kind of like that. Let me crank this pressure back up again. Get back up about 40. I want to come back down that back side a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Now, I don't know. That's what I'm going to call my yellow perch, guys. We got, we took our basic transparent yellow, we darkened it down a little with the copper. We came back with the Walmart Ivy Green on top. That got us our stripes at the base top. And then we came back with the Walmart Burn Umber. 
to give us our final brown. We put a little around the face to make that just a little bit different. Let's put a heat set on this, and we'll see where we go from here. Couldn't quite call it quits on this one. I got to thinking about it, and that Strike King uh, yellow or yellow purse that I saw in the catalog had a little orange on the belly. So just real quick, we're going to turn it upside down here and just a lightly. Not going to get carried away. Just enough to give it a little bit of orange on the belly. I like that. And I got one idea, one more thing I want to do. Hang on. We got the basic stuff, but you know what? I thought about something. I haven't splattered a lure in a long time. So we're going to splatter this one. I'm going to take the pearlized copper that we mixed in before. Shake that up. We'll just throw a little pearlized copper here on the lid. Got my glove. I got my toothbrush. Get some excess off. Oh yeah, there we go. Load a little more up on it. You just never know quite how much to load up or when to quit. Unfortunately, if you load up too much, you can't go back. And we're going to call that good right there. I got some splatter on it. You're probably not going to be able to see that that good in this light. But once we put the eyes in, we get the top coat on, and we get it under some better lights for a final view, you'll get a good look at that top coat. So that's the next step. Eyes and a top coat. We'll be back. Well, there we go, guys. There is my version of the yellow perch. One thing I really wanted to show in this video was how easy it is to put the bar effect on the side of the lure. You don't need fancy stencils. You don't need to go through all the work with the masking tape like I've done in the past. Basically, it's hold a comb up, shoot some paint through it, and you can get a pretty decent effect. Now, I think adding the splatter at the end helps. It gives it more depth. It just adds that extra layer that uh, really kind of separates the lure from the others. Anyway, that's it for this time. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.